Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about narcissistic siblings some more and the super empath going supernova and I'm going to give you an extremely recent example of that. That happened on Mother's Day. So this is connected to another video that's coming out right together um, and it's about five minutes long just like this video is. So um, you can certainly see the other for context and anything that it needs to be in the pinned comment. I'm going to actually pin comment one of these to the other so they will link. Um, but the um, event that happened with my brother um, over wanting to, me wanting to talk to my mother for um, Mother's Day, uh, which I was not able to do, uh, he, he threw all sorts of um, BS at me, including telling me, well, the police were right there and they were reading all my texts and that they were looking for me right now to serve papers on me for civil, a civil case. Anybody who knows better knows the police do not serve civil cases. They do not. That's the process server. Okay. And so he's absolutely full of it. I did have the record, whole, 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 the whole phone call, I'm sorry, recorded so that um, I could, you know, I have the receipts on everything. Um, however, my narc brother, while he is screaming and yelling and just all over the place, and I'd like to add here that he has never met my narc ex-husband. He's never seen him in person, ever. However, he chose to be one of his flying monkeys over his own sister and over his niece. So the video that many of you have seen of my narc screaming at my daughter, my brother didn't stick up for my daughter and instead said, oh, you left out the part of her doing meth in the house. That's simply not true. And I would love to show her photo, but I respect her privacy. My daughter has almost flawless skin. She is beautiful and her teeth are gorgeous. So if you know about anything about somebody who is doing meth, they do not have a good complexion and their teeth rot out. So just a photo would prove the difference. Also, when that event happened, my daughter had just arrived by plane and had been at the house about 20 minutes, okay? And her boyfriend at the time that my ex is screaming about hadn't been there in 18 months. All right, so the thing is, is with my brother, I used to would fall for the projection and the deflection because I'd say something to him and he would just switch to something else. Why, what about you this? And I, you know, at the time was, I was, I didn't understand and I would be, I'd end up trying to explain myself. You know, you guys know how that is. So I don't do that anymore. And I actually have had until Mother's Day have had zero communication with my brother since I like 2016 or 17. Yeah. And um, I do love him but I have to love him from afar because he is a very damaged individual. He does watch all the videos, so a shout out Greg. Yeah, and he al allowed also his, now somebody else was also listening to the conversation and recording it again, like I said. <laughs> However, um, so his wife gets on, you know, is yelling at me in the background about, you know, you need to shut up, you know, you ugly, old, saggy tit, bitch, is what she said. So what came out of me, I'm not going to say all the words, but you know what narcissists do. One, they hit below the belt. Number two, they're usually going to come at you with something that bothers them. So I know it did not trigger me because I'm not saggy, okay? <laughs> I had a breast lift after I had my kids, so I know that for positive. Um, and she's 15 years younger than me, and this may sound catty, but she probably outweighs me by about 70 pounds, and uh, hers are very large, and they are saggy. And I went real evil on that. And I know some of you are going, gosh, Lisa, that's steep into their level. No, no. When they're going to hit below the belt, it's okay for you to do the same thing. Level the playing field 